Hello, this is Paula Asher. Welcome to this video about getting started with Camtasia. You can find the software in any of the smart classrooms at Columbia Gorge Community College. If you need access to one of these rooms, please contact Facilities Services. There are many excellent videos about how to use the software available online at the TechSmith website. As versions change, you can find new tutorials on this site. In this video, we're going to focus on getting started with quality audio and video. In general, we use headsets to record audio. They come in various shapes and sizes. You will need one with a microphone. When you wear the headset, it's a good idea to angle the mic slightly away from your mouth so you don't get a lot of breath sounds. If you need a headset, please contact me. Headsets generally come with 3 millimeter attachments or USB. Then it is a good idea to check the computer settings for microphone levels. You can right click on the audio icon and then click recording devices. Double click on the microphone, choose levels, and then make sure that that microphone level is at least 50%. I have been putting mine up at around 100, uh, but if you find that your video is too high later on, then you can come back and turn it down. But this is an important place to turn up your audio because a lot of times the computers don't allow you to record your voice at a high enough level. Of course, your computer may look different than this, so if you're having trouble with your microphone, please contact me. Next, plug in the headset. If you're using the 3 millimeter type, make sure that you line up the microphone and the headset icons. Now you're ready to start Camtasia. The first thing to look at is the audio setup wizard, which is found under voice narration. Here we're going to choose the correct microphone. You can see here that I, I'm using a USB headphone, so this is correct. And then I'm going to auto adjust the volume by clicking here and it'll count down and then I read the paragraph. Since the internet has grown in popularity we can now use a high-speed network at home. Okay so now the uh, volume is adjusted correctly and you want to make sure you do this audio setup wizard every time you record in Camtasia. It may also be helpful to make sure the audio is selected properly in the recording window. In addition to setting up the audio for best quality, you will need to set up the screen for best video quality. The most important thing is to choose a 4-3 or 16-9 aspect ratio. Then lock that aspect ratio. You'll need to pick a size that fits your monitor. I often write a video script before beginning. You can see an example for this video on the College Camtasia webpage for faculty and staff. You will note that I use PowerPoint slides, which I import into Camtasia after exporting them from PowerPoint as JPEG files. It's important to set up a file folder for each video before you start recording. In this folder, you will have all Camrec recording files, a CamProj project file, and any PowerPoint files. Then you can edit your video with a number of features. Please see the TechSmiths page for more instruction. I recommend that you clean up the audio a bit before you produce it. To do that, go to Tools, Audio. I like to enable noise removal. It's also possible to enable volume leveling if you have a lot of really high and low audio levels. And there are some advanced tools but I find that enabling noise removal really helps a lot and you'll need to make sure that you're uh, selecting each segment of your video. When you've finished editing and adjusting the audio, you can produce the video for the web. Usually the best choice is an MP4 file. To make it available to CGCC students, please contact me so that we can put your video on the CGCC YouTube site. Please contact me if I can help. I often meet with instructors in the learning stages of using this technology. So thank you.